when a war is waged, the question most often asked is why? And we find plenty of reasons, whether they're real or not. But perhaps the question we should be asking is not why, but who? mission underway. We are Oscar Mike. To understand this war, we have to go back, further than any of us could have anticipated. Tragic as it was, brought about the unwavering unity of the American people. But what would it take to unite the entire world? Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. If suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species, from another planet, outside in the universe. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Rebels oppose all those who strive to bring unity and order to our world. Take us down. Copy. You know what to do. Roger that. So 
something many people don't understand is that collateral damage is a necessary evil that we soldiers have to carry on our shoulders. Running with the rebels, but we're close. We're about four clicks off. All right, keep a low profile. Once you've secured the area, stay put and keep any visitors away. We can't risk sending in the big birds with so many craft in those skies until you've confirmed your mission status. Roger that. Soldiers are trained not to question our orders, so we fight, believing that our cause is great and just. But when you don't know the face of your enemy, it's damn hard to know whether you're on the right side. In our top story, as South America tries to recover from another nuclear attack, the White House is pressuring other nations to follow the U.S. leadership as it has the only military force capable of defeating the alien attackers. Russian leaders are considering joining the New World Order. Miller, what's this it, Rep? Sir. Miller? Miller? Sir, that is a negative. The coordinates of the crash site are incorrect. <laughs> 